What's up guys, Riley here, and today we're going to be doing a few upgrades to this truck. Um, so let's go ahead and get into what we'll be upgrading. So as you see, I've got my truck here, and a few recent upgrades we've done on this is, we've got an Enjoy 66 turn motor, and we have some Endura 11 gram or 10 gram I think they're 11 11 gram diff covers on the front and back just did a video on them and they're awesome um, they were definitely worth the money now what we're gonna be doing today is I've got a few parts <clears throat> like a few right here can't really get them all in the screen way, the way I have it so what we have here is we've got 43 millimeter double telescoping shocks. They're the gray or silver. We've got some brass, black brass steering knuckles, which will be nice. Get some more weight on that front end. Now you do have to install the bushings. The next thing we have these nice deep dish white trailer looking wheels. They're bead locks. We'll be putting those on it. And when we put those on it, we'll also be installing these. They're black brass rings. Just to add the little bit more weight on the wheels. And then holding those wheels on will be these hexes. I think they're plus four millimeters or plus three. I can't exactly remember. And I've got some hubcap looking wheel nuts. Or not really hubcaps, but you know what I mean. Um, and I'm very anxious to see how those look on these wheels. And then, for the socks of this build, we'll be putting these nice Endura competition tires. And I played with them a bunch, and they're like super sticky and very grippy. Haven't ran them yet, obviously. They're not on a vehicle. And when I do run these, I am going to keep the foams in them because the, the compound is so soft and the, the wall on it is so big. If you take the, the uh, foam out, then the tire will roll over. And when I say roll over, like if you're on an incline or whatever and you're kind of leaning, your tire will roll over like that. And kind of just fall over um, because there's not enough support so if I take the foam out it might help real quick to show y'all so these things are like super soft very squishy they're nice and sticky and everything now when <clears throat> when you're crawling or whatever and the it's kind of got weight on one side the tire tends to roll over so we don't want that because of the big sidewall so we're gonna keep the foams in them for now until we can do a little bit of tuning or get some flubber, flubber stuffers slime balls in it um, but this the foam in it is pretty soft as thick it is as it is but we're not gonna install any of these upgrades on camera because it's so many and I'm just trying to hurry up and get this done. First major upgrades that I'm doing on this, so I really, I'm really anxious to get them on and, you know, see how they do. So, um, number one, we're going to get the wheels put together. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Okie dokie. So I've got it pretty dialed in. It's actually the next day. I took it inside last night uh, and worked on it, put everything together. And I did a little bit of tuning, or a bunch of tuning. Um, so in the rear, we've got the competition tires, those rims and all with the hexes. And um, I had the wheel hubs, uh, but they don't fit. They're the when you put the uh, hex on, 
the axle part where the threads are isn't long enough to put those hubs on so if you get those just remember you won't be able to put the hubs on um, so in the rear I'm running the regular aluminum rings in the wheels and in the front I'm running the brass ones uh, just to kind of keep some weight up front but I'm running diff covers on the front and back just to have weight in the back too um, I've got the flex blades on it which those were already on it and I've got the shocks the 43 millimeter double telescoping scoping whatever you want to call it shocks and it's got some pretty good flex um, in the rear I'm running no springs on the the last hole on the flex blades uh, the bindings very minimal uh, which is good in the front I've got my links I've got the steering hubs I've got all the diff cover and all I've got the hexes and everything with it and the brass wheel weights in the front so it's very front heavy when you pick it up uh, I've got a rubber band so that for hill climb or just to keep the front from extending I've got this rubber band that kind of holds it and as you see it's not completely extended um, so that I put that on there what it is is I wrapped it around the the top link the one that's connected to the steering servo and it's it comes up and it just wraps around the the body mounts um, so these are these rims are actually the deep dish ones so they um, the shallow ones that aren't the deep dish like this you can flip backwards and make them like super deep dish which I meant to get those but I didn't um, so I think that's actually about it um, the front shocks, I'm running the, the black springs in it as low as possible, and it's on the front part of the flex blades. Now, the reason I'm running springs is in the front is because without the springs, the chassis sits down here, and when it goes to flex, it catches on the, um, the servo. So, I have clipped the servo ears, but it, it still seems to rub. So, sucks, but... It'll be alright, <clears throat> but I'm going to get the body on here, like that, and then we'll go test it out. And this is not all of the build, I've got <clears throat> a few more things, just a few little things that I'm going to do in another video, so definitely be sure to stay and check that out too. So let's go ahead and get to crawling. So we're out here at the course, and I'm very super duper excited to see how this thing runs. I have not run it yet, and um, I'm very excited to see how it does. I hope it does good, and that nothing was a waste of money. But there's more tuning to do probably, um, even though I've done some tuning. But let's go ahead and get to crawling. Steering servo is a little loaded down and kind of having a hard time. We're still having problems on that one spot. There we go. Those big tires are definitely helping getting over some things. Then I'll turn around. Oh, or fall off the course. <clears throat> it's a little small, so.
checking our axle here on the point of this rock. That flex is definitely helping with those Enjora shocks. Right here has kind of a drop off, as you can see, and all wheels are touching the ground right there, which is definitely nice. Could not do that before. Looks like we're binding a bit in the front end. Which is definitely something we'll have to work out. Alright, so I did the hardest part of the course. We're going to go to the side of the course and find a few spots. Uh, just to kind of test it a little bit. We've got this spot here, which shouldn't test it too much, I don't think. These Enjora competition pins are definitely awesome. Plenty of grip. Haven't had much sliding. And these rocks are a little slick today. It's morning, so the dew and whatnot is on them. Second thing is, we're going to go right here. This might be a little more challenging. Especially with this rock right here, it's got a very sharp point. Might catch the axles. Boom, that was pretty fast. Well, we caught our wheel in there and it, instead of going and just flipped it over. <clears throat> Maybe if we back up, it'll flip it back over. Try again. that angle we had last time boom there we go that time I didn't get my wheel caught in that that little crack there so it didn't flip over and we made it um, so now I'm gonna go over to the hill climb so let's go all right so we're at the hill climb and I've got the little Oreo let's see if we ruined our climbing capabilities So you can kind of gag it and get it up there. <clears throat> but I don't know, before we were able to just slowly crawl up it. There we go. We can't really super slow. <clears throat> But you can still kind of go slower and get up there. Getting these ruts, and it's pretty hard to do. See if we can slow crawl. Nah. But if we give it everything it's got, it'll get up it just fine. <clears throat> So, so far it's done most things, which is pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, now, since it did that, let's try and back up it, because uh, I don't know why. That back's lifting up a ton on it. It doesn't put the axle under it, as you see. So, smack that back down. Mm, just wants to slide on over. I don't think it'll do it. So moved over to the side. And we're going to be going right here. Let's see if we slide down or not. We could not do that earlier. Not at all. I had to 
give it all it's got to get up that like that. <clears throat> Here, let's try again. Make sure it wasn't luck. Uh oh. Maybe it was a little bit of luck that got us up. Get on back up here. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. Don't think we're gonna make it. Get some of the dirt out of the tread. Could be slowing it down a little bit. So there's a little dip right here. And I think that's what the problem was, it was just kind of getting caught in it. So, so there we go. Um, I think I'm going to name this build the Oreo. Because uh, it kind of looks like an Oreo. You got the black and then the white and then the black. And the same with the tires. So um, I think that's what we're going to name this build. Um, <clears throat> so far, I'm liking these tires. They're nice and grippy. They're not broken yet. Uh, that's the first run time on them. They're very sticky, which is very nice. There's plenty of weight on the front. So before, while I was uh, tuning it, I had the brass rings in the front and the back. And um, I'm glad I took them out because I saw a difference from driving up my legs um, and then driving up that hill. There was definitely a difference. Um, but I like it downside was I couldn't use the hubs which I was kind of happy to get those but it'll be all right got a few some tuning to do get the shocks straight because they're still kind of binding I might flip them upside down see how that goes <clears throat> but other than that all the weights in the front are mostly in the front and we've got I think it's about six tires there uh, six like BF Goodrich tires just like that plenty of flex I definitely don't need any more or I don't want any more you can always have more flex but flex isn't really what I'm mostly going for I want this thing to be able to conquer anything hills rock climbing all that um, rock crawling just whatever you throw at it I want this to be able to this to be able to compete a lot um, so the motor in this is it's got plenty of power it was pushing that thing up all those obstacles and um, the only downside is with all that weight on the front the servos having a little bit of a hard time which is kind of expected which I might be able to move this up here and get a little more leverage um, just because it'd be closer to the servo. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I might get a newer one, a, a better one. I don't know what I'd get. If you know, comment down below what I should get. Um, the body held up good with all that weight smashing down on this roof with no support on the front end. So I'm very happy with that. The rubber band held up. I uh, did pretty good with holding the body down, especially on that hill climb. And those diff covers are nice and heavy, and the knuckles nice and heavy, keeping that front end planted. Um, so overall, very happy with this build. I was kind of worried I wasn't going to like it, but the more I drive it, it's the more I like it. So um, I'm looking forward to running this more, maybe in some competitions soon, if I find any. I've been to one. I did pretty good, um, but thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for the second part, uh, I've got some links and whatnot, it's only a few things, not much, just a few little additives to see what happens, um, but thank you for watching guys, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can see the next videos on this, 
and whatever else comes out. And then, I will see you guys later.